Welcome back to Curl Up with Jamie. This video is for those new skips out there. Today we're going to be talking about how to call a shot. In other words, how to tell the rest of your team what you want them to do. <laughs> first things first, the T-line is your most important tool. It's a great reference point as to where to put down the broom once you've decided on the ice. If you're calling a guard and you're way out front in the free guard zone, there's really no good point of reference. It's just a big white space. So if you want to call the exact same shot, it's hard to put the broom down in the exact same place. So instead, use the T-line. That way it's easier to remember exactly where the broom was and how much it curled. For example, you're throwing up a guard on the center line. Maybe that broom needs to be two inches inside the edge of the eight foot. When calling a shot, it's important to do it with confidence. Your players are more likely to buy into the shot and make the shot if they feel your confidence calling it. So how do you even start to call the shot? After your opposition is done with their shot, then you can step into the house from behind and indicate to the rest of your team the desired shot that you had in mind. If it's a draw, you can tap in the house exactly where you would like that rock to end up. And if it's a takeout, then you tap the stationary stone where you want to hit it and then move your broom to show where you would like the shooter to roll to. I'm so sorry. So there's something that I forgot to mention first time I was recording this and that's the fact that it's also the skip's job to indicate to the thrower what turn they want them to throw, whether that's the intern or the out turn. So the skip can indicate this by holding up their arm. The direction that their arm is pointing in is going to be the same direction that the thrower is pointing the handle of the rock when they apply that counter rotation. Now you don't need to hold your hand up for the whole duration of the shot, that's a little bit much, but as long as you hold it up long enough so that the thrower can realize what turn to throw, then you can lower your arm. The next step is super important and it's often overlooked. I really recommend showing the tolerance of the shot so that everybody's on the same page. Now tolerance means what's the next best outcome. Um, if you're gonna miss, what's the best way to do it? Showing the tolerance or the pro side miss gives the thrower a great idea of what a good plan B is. For example, I am calling a draw to the forefoot, but ending up a little bit light and stopping as a tight guard is also a great option. Here's a pro tip. After you've shown your thrower what the tolerance is, go back and show them what the primary shot is. That way, the called shot is the last thing that goes through their minds. Lastly, it's important that all three of the players at the other end see the called shot so that they all know what to do. As a thrower, if you're not 100% sure what your skip is asking you to do, ask. The brushers should know what the called shot is, and if they also missed that information, communicate that to the skip. As I explained in my video called hand signals, repeating the weight back to the skip or giving them a quick hand wave is a great way of confirming what you're gonna throw and that you're all on the same page. So that's it for how to call a shot. Remember to be confident, use the T-line, and always show your tolerance. I will see you guys next time on Curl Up With Jamie. If it's a draw, you can tap in the house exactly where you would like. How do you call it? <laughs>